YouTube, it's your girl Javina Love, and I'm back with another video. How are you guys doing today? Today's Wednesday, the 22nd, and I am doing pretty good. Self-isolation, doing my thing, stay moisturized, even went outside and got a little sun. But I know you're not here for that, you're here for the fact that my eyes are very discolored and kind of red, and for the title that you ran into. So yes, we are going to attempt to do glamorous makeup under libations. Mm -hmm. I had a couple of shots of tequila, put in a cup with some fruit, because I don't really drink, but I do fusion. And so I fuse some mango and some tangerines to some tequila for a couple of days. <clears throat> and um, felt like doing my makeup. <laughs> So let's see what we got going on here. I got uh, my Too Faced makeup bag, which I love, love, love this bag and how much you can fit in it. I have literally fit in everything that I'm going to use, including a couple of things I laid on the side just in case we wanted to get so fancy. So, and I did, I want to get real fancy today. I mean, it's not nothing else. I might as well glamorous for me. I mean, I've got my group, my group on. My uh, apron, I love him so much. And I figured, why not? Let's do some guys. So grab a drink, grab a snack. And let's get glamorous. It's not gonna stop me from being me. I wanna make sure I stay as real as possible. And hey, this is one side that you don't really get to see of anybody on YouTube is uh, and is it something we're afraid of or ashamed of? No. Why should we be? It's just a little sip. We're at home, we're not driving, we're not going nowhere, we're not at the bar or the club, and I'm not laid out. I may be tonight, but not in public. <laughs> you know? So, I am have, I'm moisturized, but I'm not have any foundation on because it could get real messy. Just honest with you. So I'm going to put my MAC uh, concealer on my eyes. I'm looking around for a mirror. That's what I was doing. I just kept looking, looking, looking. and couldn't see it. If you guys have an idea, like, I, I post my drink, my mixed drinks and my um, recipes for meals on Instagram. If you'd like to see some, there's I have all different types of fusions. Um, anything from healthy fusion waters to tonic waters to how to make your own popsicles that are healthy. And then also how to make some naughty or mommy only or daddy only libational um, treats. You know? If you want to see them here, I have no problem doing that here, but I just thought... I get my viewings and everything up, you know, and get my things going before I uh, attempt to overwhelm anybody, but hey, it may not be a bad idea, right? So I'm going to do something that a lot of us haven't done and we assume we can do. So I'm going to put a little tape so that I can make this really sharp angle here on both sides of my eyes. So you take a little masking tape and put it on the back of your hand because it's it can get really sticky and hurt your skin, so you just take it up a little bit to soften it. And then I'm going to use my bottom lash line and my top lash line as my guide to angle the tape across my eye. It doesn't need to be that low, it needs to be a little higher so that I can get a, a nice smoke, smoky eye look. And this side. Okay, so I'm going to use a little pressed powder that I had left over from last night's uh, video. It's just a little bit of this still on the, the sponge. And just dab that to set this a little bit because it is kind of greasy and sticky. Okay. And I want to start with using this palette a little more. I'm going to... I really like 
the first look I did with this. I want to try that again. So, this is my ColourPop You Are a Cute Tea palette. Found it at Ulta on sale for like eleven fifty. And I'm going to get my large fair blender brush and start with a neutral color called So Fine. It's light brown color here. And I'm going to put that all over from the crease and I'm going to work it all the way up. You have to Yes, I'm going to do a, a look with it. It's brown, but it's a rosy brown. I think this whole palette is kind of rosy. It's kind of like the the non. You have to get off the chair, son. The non. Um, the I like you a lot palette that they came out with ColourPop, but less pale. The more warm tone. Okay. on both sides. We're just going to build up color. You have to literally pack this on. That's one thing I've learned about these ColourPop, because I, I really don't have any ColourPop. This is my second, my first palette, my second time using this palette, and I have like a couple of singles. And I've learned that with these ones, because they're not super shocks, you have to build them up, the mattes. They're pigmented, but you have to build them up to get the true opaque scene that you want. Especially for someone who's my color, I really have to uh, build it up. I want to use like a really light, light color. Okay. Now I want to go into this darker purple over here on the side called Heart Eyes and deepen up the the, cre the side here along with the tape too, to give it a kind of an angle cat eye into the lid. Okay. That way everything just kind of blends together. Okay, I'm just sitting that color there and I'm dragging it from the tape down to the eyelid corner here. without any color on it to uh, drag it the rest of the way and blend it out. Oops. I'll get this, use the Luxie blender just to blend it down, blend it out. And I keep that that line very sharp. <clears throat> and now to this side. So I'm just basically like a padded down, you know, like kind of fit in that area. Anybody got any good shows to binge other than um, that Wildcat one that everybody's talking about? I don't, that, I don't want to watch that. I've watched Sabrina. I binged that as much as I could until I lost focus on it. I watched Lock and Key on Netflix. That was really good. I recommend that as a family movie. Okay. I really like that purple. I think it's really pretty. Now I'm going to defuse it with a clean brush. Okay. 
No. I think I'm going to get a little you know, flat brush. Yes, this one will work. I'll do the, the Sigma brush. And the darker color here is called Candy Cream. It's a glitter. I'm pretty much giving glitter this go around, but in all honesty, I think I'm going to cut it completely out of my life. It just seems to be too messy. It's in everything. It's on everything. You can get it out. Certain glitters got to go. Certain glitters can stay, but these ones with a lot of fallout that are not really like eyeshadow toppers, they may have to go. Because it's not really doing anything for me. It just feels like it's falling on my face. It doesn't want to stay. So I'm going to do a really big declutter video of uh, some palettes and glitter because I feel that they're all kind of becoming a nuisance in my collection. A burden more than a, something that I want to keep around. you got to build them up just for them to fall off. I'm spraying them with, with uh, my Oprah setting spray, Lock and Fix. But I've got a lot of it falling on my face. Goodness. Try to dry it up a little bit. Probably this is the wrong brush totally to have used. Um, gonna go in with Lover. This one. And put that in the inner one third with these the only time I was like you know you can cut the crease if you needed to but that's one thing I really did fall in love with this palette is I did not have to put on extra product like a, a another dab of paint pot or um, a Morphe anything you know con Calum concealer that I could just use these with a damp brush or a flat brush like this and they would stick and look like a clean cut crease. That was the only reason why I have, have not worried about this palette in my decluttering videos. That's why it's getting another go around. It's also in my project pan for the month. So I can give it another chance. Okay. I need a color switch here. I need this fluffy brush. It doesn't look like anything's on my upper area, so I'm gonna use a light, these two light colors. This lavender and this, and highlight my brow bone. It just seems like nothing really there. When it is there. I remember why I had to wear so much makeup, custom makeup, because you just. It just looked like it faded away. That purple, brown, what's it called? So fine. It looked like so fine just faded away completely off my eyes. So I'm gonna have to do a different color, which I'll use first date, which is a little darker. Gotta remember, recording for YouTube is kinda like recording for the theater. You know, gotta paint for the person in the back row. You know, in pictures in natural light, it look a lot better. So I'm just stroking that on here. It blends very well, which is crazy how I just set it down and it's just like instantly doesn't really need to go back and forth. I can just go in one 
directions. You can have it there, but I want it to be a little darker. I want it to be richer, smokier. So, I need to do something. I'm going to use this Morphe primer in... Nope, this is translucent. I want to use it in black. Four pieces. And we find it in black. There we go. I'll put some on the back of my hand. I'm going to use this double it as my liner, too. Because you don't need a lot. And I just put a little dot, and that dot's going to spread and last for a minute. So I'm going to use this very stiff synthetic brush. And I'm going to line it up against the tape and down my eye. Kind of wash it out a little bit. That way it looks good with lashes on top too. I could use a regular pencil lighter, but this is one technique that I really like to use when my carpal tunnel gets acting ugly and you still want to make videos, you know. So, and you can just set it, literally set this, um, if, you, if you feel like it's going to be too moist, because it actually dries down really good and it dries down matte. So if you don't like that shine, it gives off the very first time it's out of the pot, out of your tube, it does die down matte. But this does work if you can't do the, um, the felt pen. And you can do it as thick or as thin as you want. I want it quite thick. Because I want to put a little extra color on it to smoke it out. Okay. With my goth fantasies. My punk girl rock. Well, as you see, it's not, it's not wet. It's dry, and I'm just moving it over to a smoky cat eye, you know, wing. <coughs> excuse me, wing. Over the lid and over, under, over the tape. As even as I can. I really do like this as a liner because it does stick, it does stay, it doesn't wash off. But it's also a primer, it's a lid primer. Okay, so I'm most likely going to have to get out of that palette because there's nothing really darker in the palette. So I'm going to see if there's, oh yeah, there, there is a richer burgundy in here in the Too Faced Berry palette. And it smells, as soon as I popped it open, it's a raspberry palette. It smells so good. It smells just like raspberries. So I'm going to use this fluffy brush and bring that here and across the lid to make that darker. I know you're like, she put shimmer on the lid. I did. It just doesn't seem to be dark enough, so I'm going to have to do it over again. Because I want it to be really. That's why I'm like, a bee just have to go to mats. I love mats and the way they look on me. I really do. I love the way the mats look on me. And that's the cool thing, too, about makeup. You can pile it on and wash it off if you really want it to. So if I don't like this look, it can be fixed. It, it can be erased, but I actually really love berries a lot. I'm going to drag that up here and make that blend up here. Bring it up and over a little bit over the crease line, just to blend it all together.
time for a break. Give a break. That is so strong. I don't recommend more than a week <laughs> with your fruit, but three days is like the best to do gummies and fruit. Okay. It's just none of that stuff. The book isn't soiled or anything, so what we'll do is we'll use this topper shade that I've never used on here called Love Me. There it is, top of shade. And maybe that'll brighten everybody up. Because, I don't know. I'm, I better stick it, better moisten my brush and stick it. Because it just seems like it's going to be trouble, trouble. Yep, it's trouble because it doesn't even want to come on. There we go. I don't like that now. Ooh, it's so cream, so soft. You gotta be careful, cause look. look at that. It's like, and then I can press it back down once I swipe over it. All I did was slide my brush back and forth to get it up. It was a wrong direction for that one. You know, it's all chunky right there in the front. Come on, I wanted this to be a really cute, sexy eye. At least that was what was in my head. Maybe I should use my finger. Sometimes her finger. Mm-hmm. That's a little better. What do you think? That's a lot better. I don't think it's even now. Okay. Let us see. What can we do next? What can we do next? Basketer. Liner. More liner. Like, there's a dark, dark purple black in here. That we can use as liner. Use a smudger brush. It's a flat, thin smudger brush. Use that. Let's see how this works. And I should wet it because I don't really know how it performs. And smudge that on the lid. Make that my liner. Yeah, that worked out really good. I gotta wipe the brush though. My plan basically is when it comes to this right now, the decluttering videos that you guys seem to like is that um, I don't know lost my train of thought just rode off the rails but um that looks really pretty Whew. that tequila is strong so strong alright so let me put on my face and I'll be right back. Ah! All right, y'all, I'm back. Got my foundation on, my bronzer. I used this uh, CoverGirl Full Spectrum, sorry, um, foundation. I used my Lovecraft Beauty bronzer kit, and look, mama hit pan. I hit pan, I hit pan. So happy. And I put on some lashes 
today. They're not so heavy. These are LA color um, dramatic lashes in number 976. They're quite light. The band is very light. You can see they're kind of wimps, wimpsy, I guess you say. Kind of whipsy. And they're called Diva. And they're not as bad as yesterday's lashes. Like yesterday's lashes, I was having a workout and couldn't close my eyes. Um, on my lips, I put a couple of liners to do an ombre. I put blue under my in my bottom waterline to brighten up the eye a little bit. And because this liners are really dry, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Holographic as my lip gloss. Kind of transforms any color you want. It's really cool. I'm going to show you. I got this in an Ipsy bag too. Look at that. It's really pretty. You gotta wipe off the the wine. You don't wanna ever dip it back in and transfer it. That color. But the nice thing is it does come major majority of it off. Yeah. That way you have a nice clean wand. Um for blush and highlight, I use, of course, my Oprah. I'm trying to pan this, so I'm going to put this back in my project pan for the month of April and May. And I use these two. And I have banana powder under my eye because this eye is so watery for no, some reason. So I'm using Oprah banana powder to dry the tears up. But anyways, what do you think? You like this dramatic guy? Was it worth all the hassle? And was it pretty good with the shot of tequila? I think so. Let me know in the comments. If you're new here, thank you for sticking with me. If you are a family and friend, how you doing? What you make today? You know, I'm doing good, I told you. Um, I didn't make squat, I ordered pizza. And don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and I will get back to you in the comments about anything and everything you want to know or want to see. Have a good one. Love you. Bye.